So let's say we've downloaded this video from Motion Array, which is not a sponsor, but we can see the size. It's an Apple ProRes and it's three gigabytes in size. We, so let's say we download that and now we can use QuickTime to reduce the file size. We just don't need a three gigabyte file inside a keynote presentation. So we can keep it at 4K if we want and we can really reduce the size of the file. But in this case, my slides are 1920 by 1080p, so I just need 1080p, which is going to make it even smaller. And when you go in here into QuickTime, then choose Smaller File Size, or HEVC, which is the name of the codec. And in this case, there is a transparency. There is an alpha channel, so we'll click that. But if you don't have an alpha channel, then you don't need to worry about that. So let's just click Save, and this will just take a few minutes. Let's compare the file size. So the original as I said, was over three gigabytes, 3.36 gigabytes here. And then this is the one we use QuickTime to get the more compression on it using AGVC codec. And there it is, 23.8 megabytes. So that's a lot smaller. But another way you can do is just select all and then right mouse click or control click. And you'll see this option available in code selected video files. And then that's just going to give you this option which is what we want, if you remember, is we want the HEVC codec. And this is 4K here, 8K, oh, that's ridiculous. But our original is 4K. We could keep it at this, and then it would really reduce the file size. But we'll go 1080p to do all of those. Click it, and we just watch it go. And it just takes a few minutes. And then let's just take these ones that have been compressed, and we'll put that in the after folder. Now let's compare the size. So before the total size of those six files is 9.27 gigabytes. So almost going on 10 gigabytes in file size. And then after we can see that the file size is 54 megabytes. So that's a really huge difference. If you start putting lots and lots of videos inside Kino, which is really stable, which is one of the reasons why I prefer using it. It's really stable using lots of videos, but you're really gonna you know, stress it if you put 10 gigabytes of video into it. And that has worked, but I wouldn't wanna do a live presentation on a stage. Generally speaking, getting your file, your keynote file to around two gigabytes or so I feel comfortable anywhere around two or three gigabytes. At least so far, it's been it's been fine. But I shouldn't have to really have it be that big if I'm just using JPEGs and compressed QuickTime videos like this. Let's see if we can even see a difference. So here's the three gigabyte file size. We just pull the video in. It takes like 30 seconds or so just to get it in there. So that's the three gigabytes. And let's try it with the smaller one. And this is 54 megabytes. And you see, it's just instant. So let's compare them. Okay, so let's do it this way. In the first one, this is the three gigabyte file at 1080p. Sorry, at a 4K. This is 4K and three gigabytes. Or this one, which is 1080p and 54 megabytes much, much smaller. And we could even do something like this. So these are the six video files that have been compressed. And they run really smooth. It's no problem at all. And now let's go to the same kind of slide. But these are all, okay, you can see what's going on here. I'm using a Mac mini right now with an M1 chip. But you can see the difference. <laughs> This works fine with compressed videos at 1080p and they've been compressed with HEVC versus using the original file size, which was uh, over nine gigabytes. And they're kind of working, but it's a little bit, it's choppy. It's getting better at data. <laughs> it's pretty choppy. Anyway, just remember to reduce your file size by going here and choosing the HEVC and preserve transparency if it has transparency or you can select multiple videos in a file and right mouse click or control mouse click and then just use encode selected videos and that will give you this pop-up menu where you can choose the codec that you want and you can choose preserve transparency if it has transparency all right thanks very much everybody mm -hmm.